He's been characterized as uh, you know, a combination of Louis Pasteur and Robin Williams and Hunter S. Thompson, uh, all rolled up in one. He's a very dynamic, uh, high energy person. a very creative and almost crazy kind of scientist and that's to be encouraged. Kerry thinks big and thinks free. I like to say he's not censored. He has a, uh, an excitement about him. I think of Carrie as being very playful. Thinks out of the box and has uh, uh, ideas that go all over the map. If you have a chance to have a conversation with Carrie, you'll come away exhausted. It's, it's impossible to keep up with the, uh, the dimension of his thought. He's a free thinker, sort of a bit like a genius type, a Mozart type in the field. There was a meeting in Cambridge and uh, Carey told them, he said, I have to go down to the, to the Eagle and sit where uh, Watson and Crick sat and bask in their afterglow uh, because I'm going to win a Nobel Prize. He was driving up to Mendocino with his girlfriend. And as he was driving along, the, the idea of increasing the number of targets uh, many, many thousands of times came to him. He has this amazing quality of just obsessing over something and, and asking all the questions, gathering all the detail, and then making these huge leaps. This was sort of a stroke of a genius. He stopped the car, he said, woke up his girlfriend, told her about it, she immediately fell asleep again. <laughs> And when I pulled out of there 10 minutes later, I had already written down on a little piece of paper I pulled out of my glove compartment and thought about in my mind exactly all the principles of PCR. We spent that weekend drawing out PCR reactions on every piece of paper around the cabin and uh, came back the, the next week and started trying it out. I went back and I stole the sign, actually some friends of mine that marked the particular spot on Highway 128 that I had that, whatever, epiphany. Amazingly, the process, the invention process, took uh, just about nine months. And it was, I think, probably between 7 and 8 o'clock at night, uh, Kerry came into my office and he said, uh, I actually made it work and he didn't wear gloves and the DNA from his hands was on the, on the gel and being amplified and, uh, just along with the, uh, the actual target DNA. The longer story is interesting too, and, and that is this had nothing to do with what Kerry's job was at CETUS. The management didn't have the insight to know that uh, this was going to be a powerful tool. Uh, they simply knew that Kerry was a wonderful scientist and to encourage him to continue. I decided to go ahead and take the risk and, and work on the patent. Following that, he got the Nobel Prize and he got the uh, California Inventor of the Year Award and he was been, uh, inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. About two years ago I began participating with Kerry in uh, developing model compounds to, to prove or disprove the altabune idea. We've created the, uh, another model compound for in vivo studies in, in mice and the results of those uh, uh, experiments have been beyond our expectation. The potential is there that I can see. I can see. What would that mean if you could get rid of malaria in the world? What, what if you could get rid of all staph infections? I was skeptical that any idea as simple as Carrie's might work. Uh, this reminded me then of PCR, where people were skeptical that PCR should work and why hadn't someone else thought of it before. PCR was the fundamental technology which changed genetics and genetic biology. It made the science much more practical. How could the industry exist without it? I think uh, his discovery is immense. I think without question, it's probably the most significant uh, biology type of uh, you know, discovery of the last century. Kerry has changed uh, 
changed science in a fundamental way. This is wine that we had uh, just after he won the Nobel Prize, and you can see here where he confesses to me, uh, thanks, Ron, it, it was your idea, I'm sorry, Carrie.